Philly story. Philly isn't the most loudly spoken person, but often the strongest leaders are like that. When they do speak, people listen. I identify as LGBTQ+, and non-binary. It can mean a lot of different things, but for me, I just, I don't really feel any connection to gender or anything. I just, I'm just me. <laughs> My name is Billy, I'm 18, and I'm from Melbourne, Australia. In the queer community, there are a lot of challenges. Just trying to be seen and respected can be very difficult a lot of the time. I try to advocate for the community as much as possible, do as much as I can to help. Even you know the strongest of advocates do need support. Initially Billy was very quiet, so it took a little time for us to build a rapport, but I think we started working pretty quickly together. My name's Will Martin. I work in Disability Employment Services as a customer experience coordinator for Youth Projects. My role is essentially the entry point to our Disability Employment Service program, so I help the young people with their progression into finding employment. The one thing that me and Billy always had in common is we've both had a similar path with how we battle mental health. I've been quite open with Billy about having specific challenges myself. I think that can be relatable to a young person. I've always made it clear to Billy that if you want to do something, there's just nothing stopping you doing it. There might be a longer path for you, sure, but it doesn't mean that path's closed. It just means it's a slightly longer way to go. I was placed in a four-week program where I got to train at Good To Go in the city. And I got to work there five days a week for 25 hours a week and I got to learn how to make coffee, do smoothies and toasted sandwiches and like customer service. It was all a really good experience. Good to go is our social enterprise cafe where we use it as a launching point for young people to gain real-time work experience in a professional environment. The primary responsibility there is to serve coffees, but also the daily schedule of getting up, knowing what employment feels like, getting out of bed, going to work, being on time, and they get the practical experience of what working's like. I think Good To Go has been a great fit. I mean, I really like the whole experience there. I really enjoy working with customers, getting to make coffee and talk to people. Billy exhibits all of the traits that you'd want in a good employee. They have a very strong desire to work, but they also have a really strong desire to make sure everyone around them is comfortable um, and would be the best employee you could ever ask for, to be honest with you. I just want to follow whatever makes me happy and whatever I feel passionate about, whether that's helping others or advocating. I just hope I'm happy in the future. <laughs> I think the future holds anything for Billy. Billy can do whatever they want to do. It's one of those rare gifts I think you find in people. Whatever Billy's going to be passionate about in their life, they're going to just absolutely kill it. Billy completed the trainee program at good to go and is actively looking for full-time work. Feeling more confident than ever in their job search with the support of youth projects. If this story has brought up concerns, help is available. If you or someone you know is in need of support, contact Lifeline on 13 11 14. Join the movement for change in disability employment. coact.org.au forward slash change the story. Presented by Coact Employment and Youth Projects.